represent the 1,600,000 members of AFSCME across this great country. For 75 years, we have fought to make our voices heard, and we're not going to be silenced today. There is no bigger story than what is unfolding in Wisconsin because other states will follow. The turnout today was fantastic. The right-wing conservative broadcasters in this country, followed by congressmen like Paul Ryan, are insulting these Americans who are doing it orderly, peacefully, properly, and doing the American thing. It's not the teachers and firefighters and the guys who pick up your trash. It's not their astronomical salaries, which don't exist. It's not even state pension contributions that have driven state budgets into the very, very deep crimson red. It's the result of taking in too little. Far, far, way too little. As a rich person, I pay 28% tax. What I want to ask you is why am I not paying 50? The Republican Party has every reason in the world to try to break up unions right now. The Republican Party has corporate America on their side. And of course, corporate America has always wanted to break up unions. The Koch brothers, among others, were organizing to try to bust labor. It's what big business wants to do, bust labor. This isn't a new concept. Marty Beals, executive director of the Wisconsin chapter of AFSCME. We're going to keep organizing. We're going to keep fighting them. You know, if the bill passes, we'll continue to fight and organize. And we will we will prevail, Chris. We will prevail. Okay. It's great having you on. You look like the real thing to me, sir. I'd like to meet you sometime. Uh, on the financial plight of the states, Governor Martin O'Malley is the governor of Maryland. I'm disappointed, in fact, that some governors are choosing to use this crisis to sharpen their ideological acts and go after collective bargaining rights. Let's join together. Let's make it a real voice. Unions made this country great because it gives the voice to the working people. Look at the history of what unions have done in terms of safety, in terms of the workplace, in terms of who we are as a working people. You have to go back to the union movement of the 20th century. It's one of the great movements, along with the civil rights movement, the women's movement, uh, gay rights movement. That's what's changed this country. ABC 7 News, it's in Chicago's number one news. What began two weeks ago as a Wisconsin issue has gained enormous support across the country. Chanting in downtown Chicago. But no matter what the location, the message was the same. Unions are worth fighting for. These are the largest protests we've seen in Lansing in years. Speakers at the gathering called it all an attack on the middle class. They showed up at the State House by the thousands, unionized public workers, to protest what they think are unfair attacks on their pension and benefits systems. Reporter Tom McKee is live outside the Ohio State House. Teachers, firefighters, police officers, nurses, craftsmen filled the Ohio State House grounds Tuesday. Keep the dream alive! It is an example of, of union busting. Um, what they want to do is to strip from these workers their rights to collectively bargain. ABC 7 News this morning. These bills basically go after the right of workers to have a voice on their job and to collectively bargain. KIMT News 3. Tonight, Iowa union workers are speaking out against a collective bargaining reform bill. Hundreds are at the state capitol showing their support and others are speaking out. I don't believe they fully understood that it's not the union going in saying this is what we're taking and we're running away. It, it's negotiated. Today, Labor has partnered with community groups and nonprofits, and 5,000 of us are standing here at our house. At our house. And we're here to demand a fair state budget. This is YNN, your evening news now. American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees Union members filling the Empire State Plaza Convention Center. We are all united in one voice. We are united in one thought. We are united to help the city come up with solutions, positive solutions, that are win-win. We want the state to keep their promise to all the federal employees and federal state employees to um, fully fund our pensions. One Maryland, keep the promise. One Maryland, keep the promise.
carrying signs in support of Dr. King, AFSCME members and others marched through downtown Memphis to a huge rally in front of a county building. Tell me what democracy looks like! Oklahoma labor unions staged a show of solidarity on the steps of the state capitol today to support workers' rights here and across the nation. Those in Washington aren't the only ones making waves right now. Governor Rick Scott was in South Florida today, and not everyone is happy to see him. Protesters are gathered at Representative Gail Harrell's office in Port St. Lucie right now. These are live pics from Port St. Lucie. It's part of a nationwide movement involving thousands of union activists. Hundreds of people are converging on the state capitol right now. You can see the crowd from Sky Fort. Hundreds of Minnesotans are marching from the St. Paul Cathedral to the state capitol. They're calling it We Are One March for the Middle Class. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. And with this faith, we will go out and adjourn the councils of despair and bring new light into the dark chambers of pessimism. And we will be able to rise from the fatigue of despair to the buoyancy of hope. And this will be a great America. We will be the participants in making it so. And so as I leave you this evening, I say, walk together, children, don't you get weary.